turn the power switch on. Yep. You have to wait a little while for the pumps to be circulating. Mm -hmm. so you gotta hit this switch here, so you go down to, for reset, back up for run. It'll tell you if you have any errors. It's blinking, so it's clear. It's not red where it's blocked. Hit the start button. Click your left pedal. Either one. This one or that one. Okay. Back to the machine. The machine tells you what it needs to be done. So it says press start key. Start indexing. So here's the start. Now it says starting indexing. Confirm enter or cancel. It should be canceled. So I want to enter it. Comes up. Uh, comes up and it's it's recalibrates. Yep. Yeah. Right it's doing all its calibration, setting it back. So when they're green, they're working. When they're all when they're stopped, when they stop, then they're it's set. zero. It's already recalibrated itself. Right. And then you it's just there too. That's completed indexing. Now I'm already in list of products. I just press my enter. There's all my right products, down. and I and I go to where I want to go. You just gotta make sure you turn the pressure switch back on. So it's so the actual pressure, pressure, the tonnage is actually working. Yeah. Okay. So if I want to pick one, I can just pick whatever one I want to pick. Just F1 it and enter it. Uh -huh. And I can delete it from right here. Gotcha. You know so you saying? just arrow over basically. Oh, it's here. If you want it. Oh, okay. Read is F1, memory is F2, delete is F3, search all is F4, and function is F5. Okay. So I can come in here and hit F3, and enter it, and it's gone. Gotcha. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's all what we ever did. Right. And then you just. You entered it accordingly to uh, how the directions were yes. in here, yep. and then it just shows up as pro as product one through whatever. Right, uh, you have product one, product two. Yeah, these are all our steps that we uh, use for each uh, type of part that we're bending. Right. Uh, so if I pull it up, I, well, what's here? I can just press F1, enter it, and uh, sequence it. And it pulls up all my pages, what I have for the width of my part, my Y's, my X, which is uh, your, your uh, stops, your R's, your stops up and down, your Z is well, Z1 and Z2 are the position from zero off center for your stops. And then the W1 is any compensation that if your Z1 is off by a couple thousands, you can correct it from that position. to come down to this distance, it'll come down there. And it won't stop until it hits it. So this is taller. It's tall. So you can pull the die out. Yeah. So it only gives you a little bit of, of air rule. It knows when you're in that setup and you have that gauge, if you go too far, it'll tell you that there's an error. What you, uh, what you have to do. Most of the airs are all pretty common. And both of it's, you've got to turn the pressure switch on. It didn't actually calibrate when you started the machine up, so you've got to shut it back down and recalibrate it back up. Because it's so far out of whack. Yeah. Whoever shut it down from before, and then it didn't calibrate right, so you shut it down again and turn it back on, and it's good to go. Recalibrate. Yeah. Uh, that's about 20 inches. I do need to change my Z1, 3. Three. Oh. Smaller part. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, single arrow is single dial. Double arrow is changes the page. Some of them are, are normal uh, jobs. We can just go in, punch it in, and it's and it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. Some of them we have where we have to, because our lengths are different, but our bends are still the same. Yeah. Just on different lengths. We just, just change, change the it. length. Yeah. There's stuff in here even from the previous owner who had it before us. We just never you never took it out. Never took it out. We just skipped it and bypassed it around it. And then when we needed other stuff that pertained to that certain kind of job that we're bending, yeah. we had we already knew when we needed a couple spaces extra, we'd have left their stuff in there. Then we can just delete it and put ours in. Yeah, gotcha. Instead of having one here at 116, I got one at 400. Right. Because we put too many pieces. Too many other jobs gapped together, so we didn't want to do that. Right. If you go into a product, you set it up, you tell it what leg you want, which is your bend, how much of an angle, and you can set all that up in there in the parameters for this. And that brings you back to, you're told what to do through here and here. Well, it's a tooling set up right Yeah. And it knows. Awesome. You gave it one cycle, you know, 90 degrees. The method that it's bending is air, of course. In your position of your uh, Y1, Y2, your X, your R, Z1, Z2, and W. It's all programmed. It's in the sequence. It's in that sequence. Yeah. And there's another one that tells you here, same thing, just bigger. Came through here. Okay. Putting a block of steel in there. Mm -hmm. Coming to the machine, put in a manual. Make sure the pressure is off. Pressure from that is going to bring it down. It's going to stop. It's just going its own weight. Yep. You put a thin, real thin piece there. It's going, it's to, going to bend. It's going to bend a little bit, right. but not a lot. Come around the back. This is your pump. You turn your pump off and flip your power switch. Okay. Wait. I'll show you how to reverse it. Okay. That's shutting it down. 